fashion just came about organically. We didn't really set out to be fashion designers per se. I mean, we, we've we always had a keen interest in it and um, always been uh, involved in it in some capacity. And um, I think what was great about our time studying, we were able to kind of explore different uh, design disciplines and different mediums and, and really explore different options. And, and we found, I guess, a common interest and a common um, a love uh, in, in fashion. It started as a bit of a hobby in our backyard, as most stories <laughs> do. Um, yeah, it turned into a, into a business which um, kind of grew organically and um, here we are now. When we started Strates Carlucci, um, I guess it was just um, a way to be to reignite passion and to, to uh, do something that we had wanted to do for, for some time. Um, showing from Paris was um, how it all started. It was taking that very first step and taking the collection over and showing it to, to buyers in Paris. But um, it, it has been very much a step by step by step process. We always had our eyes set on Paris and um, we decided in the very first season that we would take our collection there um, in a sales capacity and um, and I guess the reason we decided to do that was because it, it's one place where you're drawing all the best buyers from all over the world. They were a little bit surprised knowing <laughs> we were from Australia because even though Australia is um, a growing, uh, I guess, market and um, it's still very much an emerging market. So what they know of Australian designers is still very little. So for us, it's always, always, um, I guess, part of our duty as well to mm. to re-educate um, the buyers that we meet and um, and really explain who we are, not only as a um, as a company, but as a as a as a design culture here in, in Australia, and more particularly in Melbourne. We don't have so much a an Australiana aesthetic in our work, but um, I think the sensibility of our kind of attitude and work ethic and kind of relaxed vibe um, shows in our work. Our design process is not as traditional as one may think. I mean, during our studies, it helped us uh, explore different. Uh, design disciplines and, and ways of working and methodologies. Um, we find that the way we approach design is perhaps a little bit different um, from others perhaps who have studied fashion. Um, we, we ask different questions, we, we look at things from a slightly different angle. So experiment with different mediums. Yeah, a lot of experimentation within, within our work as well. So I think it's those elements and just just our approach that's different, which has made us um, look at things a little bit differently. We always start with an idea, which le then leads to fabric development, which then leads to silhouettes, but it always comes back to that idea. And then we build the collection based off those things. We work together, we also work separately, and we come together and bring those collections and those ideas together, and then we build upon that. And then it's about refining and editing. Our collections are always based on a concept, and one of the underlying themes and concepts in our work is this idea of oppositions, and, and it's kind of a story of us as well, where. Um, opposites attract and, and it's about bringing these oppositions together and creating something truly unique and which is which is part of our story. For us it's it's also the development stages that that help us create the story so whether it's um, you know for, the, for example this season we, we created a series of paintings which um, which is not known to the audience so much but it's it's part of our it's a part of our personal development which um, which helps us get to that end product. Um, which is that tangible collection you see hanging on the racks. Trying to, like, at, at, at being at a, a small scale, but also having um, enough voice um, to, to try and cut through what is also happening. Um, there are so many labels and so much talent, so you have to really find your voice and find a way of, of making people pay attention. Part of the big plan is definitely still growing the business internationally. Ultimately, it comes down to the product for us, and that's what we are, we're product driven. So it's about refining um, the collections and, and kind of bettering our collections every season. You're only as good as your last collection, unfortunately, in this industry, it's a very short cycle. So it's just about progressing and getting better and growing. Um, and, and obviously with that comes um, commercial success as well. So growing into new markets as well, focusing on to, uh, to other areas of the world and, and hopefully larger points of uh, distribution throughout the world.